Okay guys, in my pre-show today, uh, Tyler Bain and Trent Seven cut promo putting themselves over. Um, yeah, needed something uh, for these guys to do, and I put them in a match as well. Uh, in a decent match, Mustache Mountain defeated Ohio, Ohio is for Killers in 1934 when Tyler Bate defeated Dave Christ by pinfall with a Tyler Driver 97, Trent Seven with a 32, Tyler Bate with a 38, Dave, Jake Christ with a 39, and Dave Christ with a 47. There was no improvements. Amazing Concuts promo hyping herself up. It about that had fantastic heat and great wrestling. Ryan Reeves defeated Johnny Chaotic in 26-25 by pinfall with a silver back attack. Uh, there were times where there was definite lack of psychology on display and the match had the tendency to drift a little. The bout dragged in the middle with a lack of flow being quite noticeable. Maybe I didn't put the uh, thing on slow build. Let's see, booking details. Ah, I did. It's just, yeah. Johnny Kale took over 68 and Ryan Reeves over 54. And Johnny Kale took a text Ryan Reeves. Uh, we got 50, 53 and this show increased our popularity in 18 regions. So yeah, I know that was a short one, but yeah. Um, we'll see what happens with um, Johnny Chaotic and next week, I guess. So yeah, see you then. In a breach of out that had a decent reaction from the club sub bar wrestling, Kaylee Reed defeated Max Mecca in 7-11 by pinfall of a gory bomb. Yeah, I just wondered what she could do, really. I signed her up just before the show, I guess. Kaylee Ray for 39, Maximum Mecca with 28. Maximum Mecca is improving in Rumble 1 performance. Uh, amazing Con cuts a promo hyping herself up um, for a match, I guess. Um, in a decent match, Amazing Kong defeated Melina Perez in 9.40 by pinfall with an amazing bomb. In a butt that had good heat and decent wrestling, Austin Fury defeated Aaron Stevens in 17.05 by pinfall. <clears throat> Austin Stevens and Aaron, uh, Fury and Aaron Stevens were both tiring before the end. Austin Fury with a 41, Aaron Stevens with a 37. Uh, I didn't put the slow build on and all that. Uh, Tyler Bate cut some promo hyping himself up before the uh, biggest match of his life, I guess number one contenders in a butt that had fantastic key and great wrestling Matt Seidel defeated Tyler Bate in 2331 by pinfall with his shooting Seidel press uh, Matt Seidel um, got a 76 and Tyler Bate with a 45 um, we got 62 and all. this increased our popularity in 18 regions so yeah um, I'll see you guys back for the next show Okay guys, in a decent pre-show match, Kaylee Ray defeated Mia Yim in 7-17 by pinfall of a gory bomb. Kaylee Ray with a 42, Mia Yim with a 39. In a pre-show bout that had a decent reaction from the crowd, but sub, uh, from the crowd but sub bar wrestling, Alison K defeated Melina Perez in 6-26 by submission with a go-go platter. Uh, Alison K with a 30, Melina Perez with a 29. In a terrible pre show match, Brian Pillman Jr. defeated Nighthawk in 6.55 by submission. Brian Pillman Jr. with a 31, and Nighthawk with an 18. In an extremely short match, Amazing Kong defeated Marty Bell in 4.39 by pinfall with an amazing press. Marty Bell with a 33. And Amazing Kong with a 53. Mighty Bell is improving in Rumble and performance. In a bout that had a decent reaction from the crowd, but subpar wrestling, Myron Reed defeated Eddie Edwards in 954 by pinfall. Um, Eddie Edwards with a 33. Myron Reed with a 21. Myron Reed is improving in Rumble and performance. In a bout that had a decent reaction from the crowd, but subpar wrestling, Pete Dunn defeated Eli Drake in 940 by pinfall of a drop dead.
Eli Drake with a 30, Pete Dunn with a 33. Yeah, Eli Drake and Eddie Edwards are leaving, so I thought I would make sure they get dominated and buried and all that. Pete Dunn attacks Eli Drake. Jay Lethal cuts a promo on Johnny Chaotic. Yeah, we got Jay Lethal. We've got an influx of new wrestlers. An exceptional match. Johnny Chaotic defeated Jay Lethal in 21-31 by pinfall of a Starship Pain. Um, match had a had very little drama or flow to it, as nobody in the ring had the psychology to take control properly. Johnny Chaotic with a 74, J Lee 4 for 66. Uh, Johnny Chaotic is improving in technical and J Lee 4 in flying. We got 59, and this show increased our popularity in 18 regions. So, yeah, I'll see you guys for the go home show. And okay, guys, in the pre show, um, in the decent pre show match, Amazing Kong defeated Reagan Fire in 652 by Pitfall with an amazing bomb. Amazing Kong with a 67, Regan Fire with a 37. In an exceptional match, Matt Seidel defeated Johnny Chaotic in 8.29 by pinfall with a Here We Go driver. Um, well, me, th there were times when there was a definite lack of psychology on display. Um, Johnny Chaotic with a 71, Matt Sadell with a 69. In a bout that had great heat and good wrestling, Tyler Bate defeated Jay Lethal in 1949 by pinfall with a Tyler Driver 97. Tyler Bate with a 49, Jay Lethal with a 66. After the match, Ty Tyler Bate celebrates in the ring, mainly because it's a big match win. In a bout that had fantastic heat and good wrestling, Ryan Reeves defeated Bad Bones in 22-39 with a by pinfall of a silver back attack. Bad Bones with a 52, Ryan Reeves with a 61. They're both improving in Rumble. Ryan Reeves cuts a promo hyping himself up, mainly because he's been a dominant champion. We've got a 66 and this show improved our popularity in, uh, in 18 regions. So yeah got the pay-per-view for you next week or it'll be tomorrow in game so yeah okay guys welcome to C CW the show must go on um, in their pre-show here uh, Maximum Mecca defeated Tenille Dashwood in 554 by submission Tenille Dashwood with a 46 Maximum Mecca with a 31 in a decent match Amazing Kong defeated Kaylee Ray in 1912 by pinfall of an amazing press. Amazing Kong got 60, Kaylee Ray over 37. In a decent match, Robert E defeated Austin Theory in 1843 by pinfall of a sure thing after Robbie T interfered. Robbie E wins the CW New England title. So yeah, basically the reason why I switched the titles is because... I feel like Austin Theory will be sort of capped to upper mid carder, mid carder, and lower mid carder. So I thought, get it on Robbie E for a bit, maybe get it on someone else. Because um, I want to give Austin Theory a push, but I want to give Robbie E a push as well. So I was thinking I could get something going between Robbie E and Robbie T here. Um, so yeah. And Robbie E is improving in performance. And Jay yeah, Robbie E celebrates with Robbie T. Robbie T improved in acting. In a belt that had great wrestling and good heat, the Young Bucks defeated Ohio is for Killers, the Briscoe Brothers, and Mustache Mountain in 2204 when Nick Jackson defeated Trent Seven by Pinfall with a Meltzer Driver. The Young Bucks win the C CW Tag Team title. So yeah, we got in. Uh, the Briscoe brothers and the Jacksons. Um, Trent Seven with a 38. Tyler Bate with a 54. Jake Crystal with a 45. Dave Chris with a 50. Mark Briscoe with a 69. Jay Briscoe with an 80. Nick Jackson with an 84. And 
Matt Jackson with a 79. Mark Briscoe and Nick Jackson are improving in performance. After the match, Matt and Nick Jackson celebrates in the ring. In an exceptional match, Matt Seidel defeated Johnny Chaotic and Ryan Reeves in 28-32 when Matt Seidel defeated Ryan Reeves by pinfall with an aftershock. Matt Seidel wins the CW heavyweight title. Uh, the match lacked from psychology. Um, Johnny Chaotic uh, got a 75, Matt Seidel a 78 and Ryan Reeves with a 67. Yeah, um, and Johnny Taylor, Chaotic is improving in technical. The reason why Matt Seidel won is because he's actually like one off Brian Reeves, and I'm thinking Matt Seidel will probably be our best wrestler um, because he's younger and all that. So I thought, you know what, we'll just throw it on him. If someone else will eventually come along, that will be better than him anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, and then after the match, Matt Seidel celebrates in the ring. So we got 70. We will, let's see, and we'll give it to Matt Jackson and Nick Jackson too. Say, so, uh, told that they're awesome. Nick speech. I said I was happy with your speech. Matt Jackson seemed pleased, and Nick Jackson seemed pleased. So, so yeah, when everything's loaded, I will we'll go through the roster and all that. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay guys, so I thought I'd come back on this, we've re risen to regional size, we enter a grace period and all that, um, and the show and the show rating got a 0 0.02, um, also we've got Naomi in, um, or Trinity Fato, whatever you want to call her, uh, let's uh, put her in the women's division, so yeah, um, that, that's cool I guess. Um, Ah, we uh, need to up our production apparently, so let's upgrade, grade, grade, let's do this, so yeah, we've got, so far this month we've got 3k, um, but yeah, let's see, we spent loads on workers. Didn't get enough in tickets. So okay. Um, but yeah. Okay. What we'll do is we'll, we'll push the whole roster. We'll go through most of the people that we used. See, we used Jay Lethal. I wonder if he went up. Okay, no, he didn't. I'm not surprised. See, did Johnny Chaotic go up? Yeah, he went up by seven in a lot of areas. This is going to be the one we want to check out the most, Matt Seidel. So, he went up a lot. As you can see, this is why I've been pushing him. He's got 60 everywhere, nearly. Um, we're in New England, so the only area we really care about is New England. We haven't used nickel this much. Okay, Ryan Reese went down, but... It doesn't matter really. Upper mid. We used Bobby Lashley a lot. Um, I guess you could see he st stayed the same. Still in March. So. Jay Briscoe here. He's got up a few. Let's look at uh, Matt and Nick Jackson. He's got up a f f one in a few areas. Oh crap! Nick Jackson has gone up in a few areas. Let's see about Tyler Bate. No, he's gone up a few in other areas as well. Let's see. Austin Theory. Uh, he kind of went down. Oops. Well, he's going to be getting along, so. Let's look at Pete Dunn. He's gone up in a few. But Robbie E, he must have gone up. Yep, yeah, he has. 
I'll about train seven. He's gone up one in a few areas. We we let Mylon Reed win, so he went up in a few. Probably T went up in a few, surely, yeah. So uh, let's look at our women's division. Uh, amazing Cole might not have gone up. She did. See, Kaylee Ray. She went up in a few. Bell Max won Mecca. She went up in a few as well. About Rig and Fire. She went up in other areas. Which is nice. But yeah, um let's look at the titles. The has the prestige gone up? Uh where is it? It's not there. There it is. Yeah, it's gone up, which is nice. Prestige has gone up for the New England title as well. And the same with the tag teams. And see what about the women's yep so yeah that's good um crib meeting franchise players next big thing yeah i want to push on maximum mecca as well uh here's the hot prospects talk the talk oh yeah forgot it to mention i bring in this guy quentin Rousset. um he's only 18 and his microphone stats I think have gone up actually. Yeah, they have, which is cool. So yeah, uh, that's why I bring him in, which is good. Showstoppers, ring generals, who's hot, who's not. Time to climb. And here's the hidden gems. Probably won't be bringing any of these lot in. Let's see. Let's look at ACH. No thanks. Maybe in the future. Same with Mercedes and Martinez. And Lever Bates. Um, here's a size. Uh, if you look at our popularity, it's gone up a lot. So yeah, we've got a bit of popularity in Canada because our thing goes to Canada. It doesn't go anywhere else though, which is annoying. Is our backstage? It's gone up, as you can see. Uh, medical. No one's injured now. See, what about our broadcasters? Nope. So yeah, that's it I guess. Here's a finance, but yeah, that's it I guess. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.